Hey guys, welcome back to Tea with Boar. My name is Boar, and this is episode 8, Brewing Milk Oolong. In this episode, I'll be explaining to you guys what is milk oolong, then I'll brew it, and then finally, we'll do a taste test. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So what is milk oolong? As the name suggests, milk oolong is, is known for its very rich, creamy, buttery tastes that are very just uncommon in the tea world. And so, as for the smell, Milk Oolong has a nice roasted nuts, a little bit floral smell, so it's a very, very soothing tea. This particular Milk Oolong comes from the Nantou province of Taiwan. And you'll notice that um, most Milk Oolongs do come from Taiwan, but there are a few variations that I've seen in uh, China as well. So, now that you know all you need to know about Oolong, let's get into brewing. So in terms of the temperature, most oolongs are brewed somewhere around 90 degrees Celsius, but because this is a bit more of a delicate oolong, meaning that it's not as dark, it's not as oxidized as the dark oolongs, I like to brew it somewhere around 85 degrees, and then once I feel like the flavor is, is weakening, then I'll bump it up to 90. But that being said, I'll get through the rinse, and we'll start in fusion number one. Okay, our rinse is done, our cups are warm, our tea is warm, and we are ready for infusion number one. So, pour it all the way, and then count to about 20. That is our first infusion. So you'll, you'll notice the color is a nice golden amber color. I'm gonna make sure that liquid is all out. And we're ready to smell. I'm getting nice roasted nuts, floral fragrance from this, from the lid, and now from the tea. We're getting a little bit more of that, that creaminess, and a little bit more of that, that earthy smell from the leaves. So, as you guys will notice, the tea has really, really expanded. It's no longer those little tight balls, but really full-on, full-grown leaves. So now that we're done our smell, we can taste our tea. You're ready to try fusion number one. Really getting those nice creamy nutty notes. The aftertaste has this nice honey, sweet honey taste. Smooth, really nice, smooth, buttery, creamy taste with a bit of that earthiness from the leaves. It's a very, very soothing tea. Really nice, has this, has this nice creaminess that's a bit difficult to explain, but it's, it's quite good. So as I finish my first infusion, I'll skip to infusion number two. Okay, our water is back at 85 degrees. We can now brew our second infusion. all the way once again, and then wait 25 seconds this time. Okay, give 
you guys a bit of a different angle this time. Get ready to release. So, as you guys can tell, it's a bit of a dark color this time. Slightly more, perhaps a bit more orange to it actually. But really just kind of a darker yellow actually. Oops, sorry guys. Make sure that water is out. And then give our bit of smell. Similar buttery, smooth kind of creamy notes. And the leaves. Yeah, once again that kind of uh, creamy a little bit earthy kind of smell. So now we are ready to try our second infusion. Now I'm feeling a bit more of that, kind of the fruity notes in that tea. So a little bit less on that kind of creaminess and more of that leafy, fruity kind of kind of taste. Yeah. Really good. It has a very unique flavor profile. I don't think I've ever had anything like this. It really has this kind of creaminess and butteriness, that's a word, that is really uncommon to the tea world. And so that's what makes it so, so interesting. But um, if you are, if you do want to buy some milk oolong, I will leave a link in, in the description below where you can get some good quality milk oolong. And yeah, so you guys now know a little bit more about milk oolong. I hope you guys enjoy the content. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.